Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Monday and I'm going to be making apple pie for you today. Also, happy Halloween. By the time you watch this video, it won't be Halloween, but just wish you a happy Halloween anyways. So, the ingredients we're going to be using today is some flour, butter, salt, and water. Those four ingredients you're going to be using for the crust. And for the filling, we're going to be using apples, apple juice, brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and cornstarch. I'll be right back. I'm going to need 10 tablespoons of sticks of butter. So it's one whole one and two tablespoons. It actually has the tablespoons here, eight of them. So you're just going to cut those in cubes. And you're going to need two cups of flour. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, so this is the way that it looks after you finish um, incorporating the butter in it. It kind of like sticks together, but like kind of like crumbles. So we're just going to add some salt to it. One teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to add like a pinch of sugar to it. And we're also just going to add some water, just little by little until it starts to form into like a dough like so just little by little because you don't want it to be too wet so I'll add more water and keep stirring all right so I added a little water and little by little I kept adding it and it's just starting to come together So we'll just, I don't want to add too much so it's not too wet. So I'm just going to gather everything up from the bottom. Like so. And I 
I'm going to just put this. So this is how it looks. This is how your doll will look. And I'm just gonna put it in a ball. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc, in a Ziploc bag. And I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. And while it's chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna make the filling. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back. The crust will just be sitting in the fridge until I finish the filling and then we'll just take the crust out and finish the pie off. So I have about, I think, six apples. One, two, three, four, yep, six apples. And I'm just going to peel them and cut them off. The crust is in the fridge. You can keep it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so or however long it takes you to make the filling. So I have six apples here and we're just going to peel them and cut them in wedges. I personally am going to save the peels because I have another recipe I want to make with the peels. You guys will find that out later. So I'm pretty sure you guys know how to peel apples. So I'm just going to peel them and cut them and we'll be right back. Alright, so I'm just cutting the last apple and I'm just taking parts of these cores out. I'm adding the cores to the bag that I need for the apple peels. I just put them in the freezer and I'm just putting these in some water. So. And with this apple pie, I'm not going to be cooking the apples. This specific kind of apple um, is already really, really soft. So if I cook it, it's just going to turn into like a mush. So it'll cook, it'll cook fine when I bake everything else. So I'm just going to make the glaze for it. All right guys, we're back. So I have a new setup here. We're just going to make the glaze for the apples, the apple filling. So I'm just going to put in, actually I'm going to turn this on like a medium heat. I just have regular apple juice and I'm just going to put like about like a cup of apple juice in here. And just bring it up to a boil and when it comes to a boil we're just gonna put it we're just gonna put um the corn starch in so I'll be back when it comes to a boil and show you how to do that all right so I've just got some corn starch here and I'm just gonna add some of this to it so it came to a hard boil as you can see and I'm just gonna add some of this to it I realized that it had you have to let the liquid come like literally to like a rolling boil like really really boiling because if it's not boiling boiling 
then when you put the cornstarch in, the cornstarch mixture in, it's going to clump up like, I don't even know, I've, that's never even happened before, but it just made all these clumps in it and I have to keep straining it out. So when I let it go to an actual rolling boil, it actually works. So make sure you guys have it, just pour it over the apples and just mix it all together. So I'm just gonna take everything in here. Don't wanna waste anything. All right, so this is all mixed in. This is ready to go into the pie. So I'm actually going to just put this aside. I'm going to go get the pie crust. And we're just gonna roll it out and put it in the pie pan. All right guys, so we have the dough. I just put some flour on here and I'm just going to flatten it a little bit. It did get more cup in the fridge. It was in the fridge for about an hour, I would say. Maybe 40 minutes to about an hour. So I put some flour on the rolling pin too and I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. And I'll just keep turning it every time. I'm just gonna try to keep it in a circular so we can fit nicely in the pie pan. flat as I could and now I'm just going to put it on this pan like so. I'm just going to move it over a bit because Every part fits. I kind of rolled it. Okay. And also, I made a another dough so we can put on top another. Under. 
All right guys, so as you can see, I made the strips in advance for the top of the press. So I'm just, and I put this in here as you saw in the last clip. So I'm just gonna pour all of this in here, like so. Okay. And I also have some butter that I just melted. I'm just gonna put it on the sides. And I made a, um, what did I make? I made a cinnamon and sugar combination which I'm gonna put at the end. So, I'm just going to leave this. All right guys, so I realized what I did and I just kind of like loosened the ends of every other one just so I'm able to weave it like so. So I'm just doing that. going to make sure all of the ends are pressed down. I don't want them like lifting up or anything. I want everything kind of tucked in and uniformed. So you can just take your time doing that. And I have a lot of scraps here so you can always just add if it's too thin. Just so making sure that your everything is sealed all around I'm just going to take this melted butter and I'm just going to brush it on top like this and I want it good and saturated because I'm going to put the um, I'm gonna put the cinnamon and sugar combination on top for extra flavor. Even though I did already put the cinnamon in with the apples on the glaze, but it's better to have more. So I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top, like so. Don't forget the corners. Good. 
This kind of like reminds me of um, like the cinnamon bread. I don't know if they still sell it at Domino's, but they used to have like a like cheesy bread, but like cinnamon bread. My mom used to work at Domino's, and she used to make this like all the time. And literally like the cinnamon and sugar combination with like the butter with the bread, but except this is just high crust. So, and this gives it like a nice little color to it too. I'm gonna see if I can use all of it. really good. I'm going to put this in the oven at about 350 or so. About 45 minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on pie so it doesn't burn or anything. But yeah, I'll come back to you after I get it off the oven. Alright guys, so this is the final product right here. Alright, so I'm just going to cut it. I'm gonna plate it for you guys. Just gonna add some vanilla ice cream on the side. Top it off, and we'll just add some chocolate sauce. And there you have it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.